بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو سالر خان یوٹیوب چینل نمستے ٹو دی ہندی ویورز رائٹ از اٹ نمستے اف ناٹ سو پلیز گیو اے کریکشن ان دی کامنٹس اینی ویز دی سیکنڈ دا ڈاؤٹ ریزسٹنس لیول کنٹینیوئنگ دی سیکنڈ از دی اے سی ریزسٹنس لیول اور اٹس آلسو کالڈ دی ڈائنامک ریزسٹنس اے سی اور ڈائنامک ریزسٹنس سو وی ہیو سین دا ڈی سی دیٹ ول ناٹ چینج ود رسپیکٹ ٹو ٹائم ٹیک اے پوائنٹ وولٹیج پوائنٹ ٹیک اے کرنٹ پوائنٹ دا ریشو ایٹ اینی ویلیو آف وولٹیج ایٹ اینی ویلیو آف کرنٹ اٹ ول گیو یو دا ویلیو دا ریزسٹنس بٹ دیٹ از ناٹ دا کیس ہیئر ان دی AC an AC input is implied applied to a circuit AC input let's say a sinusoidal is applied to a circuit having what uh, a, a diode what happens the Q point with very with respect to time The varying input will vary. The input will vary and move the instantaneous point. You will have a. What will happen? Instantaneous Q point will move up and down. with respect to time why because the input is changing the voltage is changing at each and every instant of time so the voltage is changing the corresponding current will change and if both of them are changing so which means the ratio will change so the q point will change so the ratio will change the ratio changes the ratio is what the ratio is the resistance so if this is the case this is the case right so what do we have uh, what do we do in this case so let's say I show it to you let's say I show it to you uh, if this is a diode characteristics this is diode characteristics what do you have you take a point You take this point, let's say, let me draw it properly. Let me draw it a little properly. Still not proper, but better than that. Let's say I have a point. This is the, the Q point of the circuit. Black is the Q point of the circuit, the initial Q point of the circuit. And when that happens, so let's say this moves till here, this moves till here, I take these three points. Fine. Yes. So initially a voltage is applied, which is a sinusoidal voltage. So this is if the voltage sorry, if the voltage is over here, this is zero. So this is the Q point. This is the Q point when, when VD is zero, ID is zero. You increase your VD, ID will increase. I have increased my VD till here, so which means my ID will increase till here, which means what? That now my Q point is this one, Q1. This is Q1. The black is Q. The black is Q, let's say. Now, now what happens? This you have is maximum VD and ID. Right? These are, these both values are maximum. Now you reduce the voltage. So if you reduce the voltage, the the current would reduce this is the case 
this is the case again it has become zero which means again the operating point has become the original Q which is zero VD and ID fine further further you you are reducing it right you are reducing it further if VD reduces your ID reduces this means the Q point has come over here this is your Q2 this becomes your Q2 and over here you have the minimum values of VD and ID now you increase it now you increase it so if you increase one the other would increase if you increase your VD ID would increase it will go back to the original which is Q and over here you would have zero VD and ID and is that fine it is it is so what is happening basically over this one period you saw the Q point change a number of times so when an AC input for instance a sinusoidal a time varying input is applied the Q point will change why because the voltage and current are changing with respect to time fine yes that is it now how do we calculate the resistance from it let's say I draw it a little bigger let's say I draw it a little bigger if this is your voltage if this is your Q point this is your one Q point right what do you do you draw tangent you draw tangent through it you draw tangent through what draw a straight line tangent through the Q point and now you take a certain limit and a certain li and that certain limit will tell you what let's say I take it till here let's say I've taken this limit so this would give me the change in voltage this would give me the change in current so, so the resistance of the diode RD I could calculate from here which is the change of voltage by change of current right yes that is the change of voltage divided by the change of current you could see from here one another point that your RD is inversely proportional to the slope which means if I draw it steeper, I draw it more straighter. Straighter, right? So change of voltage would be less, which means the resistance would be less. Change of current would be more, change of voltage would be less, resistance would be less. Increase the slope change of current would be more resistance would be less change of voltage would be less resistance would be less this is for correct and I believe you have understood it I believe you have understood it so let's say we take the book what is it called? A straight line tangent is called the AC or dynamic resistance. An effort should be made to keep the voltage as small as possible so the equidistance from the Q point. So you should try to do what? The change of voltage, change of current, you try to take the least minimum value that so this should be least possible away from the Q point. In general, therefore, the lower the Q point of the operation, smaller current or lower voltage, the higher is the AC resistance. Hmm? Should I write it? The lower the Q point, the higher is the AC resistance. The lower the Q point, higher is the AC 
resistance. What do they mean by the lower the Q point? Which means smaller current or lower voltage? Lower the Q point means what? You have a smaller current or you have a lower voltage. Example. Example from the book. Example 1.4. Example 1.4. In the previous videos, I believe I did not mention the example numbers from the book. In the next, I will do it. This is the boy listed book, right? You know it very well. Yes. The characteristics are given. Determine the resistance at ID is equal to 2 milliamps and 25 milliamps. Resistance at 2 milliamps and 5 milliamps is unknown. And we are given the characteristics. This is VD. This is ID. 0.7 somewhere is the barrier potential. Uh, let's say this is somewhere 0.7. Right, yes, and yes. So at 2 milliamps, if you see, if you see at 2 milliamps, let's say it's somewhere over here, it's 2, let's say it's given in milliampere's range. So the 2 has a corresponding voltage of uh, So have a look at that too we will not be now interested in the corresponding voltage we will be interested in a change right because at the dc resistance we were interested in the voltage at two but now we want a change so let's say i take a change of two at one side and a change of two at the other side so i check the voltage at zero at zero current and at current value equal to four so I draw tangent over here. So one is this current, this one, this voltage, and one is this voltage. So if I check, so if I check, so at this, this is 0.65, this point, and at four, at four we have uh, ID is four milliamperes, VD is 0.76. This is 0.76. So have a look. We've got a change. So now for part number one for this RD is equal to the change of voltage. So the change of voltage is what? It's 0 0.76 minus 0 0.65. 0 0.76 minus 0 0.65 divided by the change of current is what? So at this you have a 4 milliampere over here you have a 0. So you have a 4 into 10 to the negative 3. Isn't it like this? Yes, because 4 minus 0, right? And then you have this would come out to be 0.11 and the resistance is 27.5 ohms. This is 0.11 and you have a 27.5 ohms. So these values I've already written and I'm also copying from the book. So that's why I'm, <laughs> I think I don't have a, a, a much greater eye contact. Anyways, second. For 5 milliampers, at 5 milliampers, what do you do? If this is your 5 milliampers, so again, let's say we take a we take a tangent line and we do what we take. Let's say how many has the book taken? Not five. The other is 25. Somewhere over here, let's say. So at 25, they have drawn the tangent line, a swing of five above and below. So a swing of 5 above and below means what? That one is 30 and the other is 20. So the change of current is 30 milli minus 20 milli, right? Yes. And then the change 
of voltage that comes over here is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.78 so at 30 at 30 you have 0 0.8 so at 30 you have 0 0.8 and then at 20 you have 0 0.78 so 0 0.78 and let me check the values so 0 0.02 divided by 10 milliamperes and this will give you 2 ohms 0 0.02 divided by 10 milliamps and this gives you 2 ohms so that is it this is how you find AC resistance you take a change a certain step above that value below that value and you check the corresponding voltages and you take the difference you divide them if you're given voltages you take as you'll not be given voltages but you know how to do it fine anyways <coughs> uh, the DC resistance at each current level is also unknown so the DC resistance is also unknown also RD the capital RD so you know what to do for the capital RD so first for 5 milliamps and then for 25 milliamps so what do you do is at 5 milliamps if you're asked at 5 milliamps so you uh, directly not 5 we asked at 2 and 25 so at 2 milliamps you do what you just directly take the voltage so, so your R would come out to be V upon I. So your I is already given is 2 into 10 power negative 3. And the voltage corresponding to this is, is, is I believe 0.7 or what? Mm, it's 0.7. So you have got a 350 ohms. So you have a 0.7. When you do this, you have a 350 ohms. Similarly, over here at 25 milliamps, so the current is 25 milliamps and you check the corresponding value of voltage at 25 directly what is it 0 0.79 0 0.79 the answer that you get is 31.62 31.62 ohms is that clear till here Okay, so now you saw this was quite a tedious job to do. Drawing a slope, step above, step below, although the perfect method. But in numerical problems, if you want for a shortcut or if not for a shortcut as well, so this is a proper formula, what do you do? You directly take the value of rd it's 26 millivolts divided by the given value of current the given value of current you're given an id you put this but the limitations i will tell you try it pause the video and try these two values try these two values <coughs> and then i'm telling you okay i hope you've solved let's say we prove this the diode current relation is id is equal to is times uh, exponential of eta v t upon v minus one eta v t upon v d upon eta v t no v d upon eta v t it's eta r n i told you it's the ideality factor right so let me take my notes with me so that i do it directly so now what happens so you don't mix it up with this thing let's say i open up the bracket id is equal to i s exponential of v d upon eta v t minus i s fine now what do i do i take the derivative with respect to v d so d i d with respect to v d d vd of i is is a constant so let's say take it outside exponential of vd upon eta vt minus the derivative of is 
So this would go out to be zero. Why? Because this is a constant, right? And then you have a formula for what? For the derivative of let's say d dx of exponential of ax. So this will be equal to a times exponential of ax. Right? So coming back to this, so let's say we have what we have the did with respect to dvd. Uh, so is was already present there is was already present there and then your a is what a is uh, 1 upon eta vt so this would come over here eta vt would come over here and again exponential of uh, vd upon eta vt isn't it like this it is now uh, have a look this is exponential of eta vt from here let's say this is equation 1 so isn't this thing equal to id plus is it is so can i not write it that id plus is divided by eta vt i can and then i can have one other assumption that as id is far greater than is right reverse saturation current is a smaller current and the diode current is an exponential growth so i could just simply neglect that and i could say that uh, did with respect to vd this is equal to id upon eta vt isn't it like this it is or if i reverse it now if I reverse it now, so which means if I take the reciprocal dVD upon dID, which is uh, which is here, we have VD upon ID. So this would be eta VT upon ID. If eta is equal to one, we know. Let's come here. If eta is equal to one, we know for 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 higher values of current, right? This is for higher values of current. And we also know that at room temperature, Vt is what? It's the thermal equivalent of temperature. We've already seen. This is equal to a 26 millivolts. So what have you got? Can you not see from here that you have got your relation dVd upon dID? This is what? This is your Rd, which is the AC resistance of the diode, eta is 1, Vt is 26 millivolts, divided by Id is the point where you are given to find the resistance, you are given the value of current. That is it. That is it. So, you are given a current, you directly have to put it into it. Right, so I hope you have done for these two, and the answer for the first one you've, you you most probably have got wrong. You've got the first one answer to be wrong. If you're not trying to try it, yes, I'm, I'm asking you to try it. The answer is wrong. Why? Because for lower values of current, for lower values of current. eta is equal to 2 so this equation cannot be directly applied right you have to multiply a 2 to it fine first for lower values of current and the other thing is uh, this equation is not valid near the knee region this equation is not valid where near the knee region so i told you that in the 2 milliampere's case you got your answer to be wrong why because have a look it is near to the knee region so it's applicable in the vertical rise section it's applicable in the vertical rise section is that fine till here it should be Let's say we see if we have something in the book. The dynamic resistance can be found simply by substituting the quiescent value of the diode current into this equation. No need to do this and this and it is equal to. Now the resistance we have, we have another term Rb, 
which is the resistance of the the diode itself the material and then the contact resistance as well so you have to add those two also you have to add those two also we have another term rb rb which is the body resistance of the diode itself its body and also the metallic contact so you also have the contact resistance so if you are giving a little smaller values the difference is because of that thing we are missing that thing so the book has explained it over here can range from a typically 0.1 ohms to 2 ohms so rb can range from 0.1 to 2 ohms and yes so uh, if you do it uh, for a 26 milli uh, for a 26 mm, uh, no no wait for 2 milliampere for 2 milliampere so this is a lower value of current so you have to multiply a 2 to it you have to multiply 2 to it right and if you multiply 2 to it for lower uh, regions of current so then what do you happen you get over here the answer to be 26 so 26 is the answer and the difference is uh, this difference that is 1.5 ohms difference why is this this is because you have not included your r b and you can ignore it why because this is small enough uh, with respect to the other resistances Typically, the AC resistance of a diode is about 1 ohm to 100 ohms. So, the AC resistance, AC resistance is typical range is what? 1 ohms to 100 ohms. 1 ohms to 100 ohms and I am feeling tired. I am feeling a little tired. I believe if you have any other point, you can read it out from the book yourself. If you have any question, ask me in the comment section. That is for you guys. See you in the next lecture very soon with the last resistance level. Till then, take care of yourselves, everyone around you. Do remember me in your prayers. Do subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.